I'll level with you. I didn't think it could be done. After Super Mario again redefined platform gaming in Super Mario Galaxy, I'll admit that I greeted the announcement of a sequel with a heavy dose of skepticism. I mean, how could Nintendo possibly follow up the greatest game on its platform? Well, their answer was simple. By making an even better one. In name, this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, but in stature, this is not only the very best Wii game to date, it's also one of the most consistently captivating and inventive games Nintendo has ever made. Seriously, it's that good. This promise comes with a mushroom back guarantee. There are more inspired ideas in just an hour of Super Mario Galaxy 2 than some games present in their entirety. The consistency with which this game offers brilliant new ideas is almost exhausting, as nearly every level throws you a curveball you've never seen before. More than just another sequel, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is an incomparable magnum opus in game making, a marriage of ingenious concepts and level designs, the likes of which usually comes around only once a generation. The objective of the Super Mario games hasn't changed since the series jumped into three dimensions, and that holds true in Super Mario Galaxy 2. You'll be exploring beautifully designed worlds in search of shiny stars which signify the end of the level. And in structure, the game is virtually identical to Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy before it, but structure is the only area in which the game feels even vaguely derivative. In fact, I'll just get it out of the way now, my only complaint about this game is that it lacks the epic cinematic scenes of the first Super Mario Galaxy, which really gave the game a vibe unlike any Mario game before it. I loved that Nintendo seemed to be taking Mario in just a slightly more cinematic direction, but unfortunately that seems to have just been a blip on the radar. Now, some players will like that the sequel jumps right into the action, but I definitely miss the polished cinematics of the original. Picture this, after floating in an orbital pirouette between three pint-sized planetoids waging a gravitational tug of war, Mario's feet are finally reacquainted with terra firma. But the reunion is brief, however, as the chubby space cadet quickly launches back into space, soaring through the void and landing atop a band of grassy meadows rotating cylindrically around the relentless pull of four black holes. After crossing the revolving grasslands and avoiding the interstellar vacuum cleaners beneath them, Mario again goes planet hopping until he clashes with an enormous flower beast roughly one-eighth the size of the planet it thunderously patrols. It's an incredible journey. You know what's even more incredible? That's only the first level. Coming up with clever new ideas is one thing, but coming up with clever new ideas that only seem to get more and more fun as they progress is another. Now, this game makes you feel like you're standing before a firing squad of ingenious new concepts, hitting you at every angle and seemingly every second with a clever new twist that makes you laugh even louder than the last. For example, in the Spin Dig Galaxy, Mario can drill through planets to reach the opposite side, a clever mechanic put to invaluable use in puzzles and boss battles. In the Flip Swap Galaxy, shaking the Wii Remote to give Mario's jumps a mid-air boost causes the platforms beneath to disappear, which forces you to nail your landings without the shake-induced safety you've become used to. The gameplay is just as dynamic, evolving well beyond the simple run-and-jump premise the genre is known for. Classic Mario power-ups like the Fire Flower have returned, as well as new favorites like the Bee Mushroom, but Nintendo has also included a slew of new ones the cloud flower, the rock mushroom, 
I mean, just when you thought you'd seen every type of ability-altering flower or mushroom possible, Nintendo somehow harvests new ones just as clever and fun as the classics. The game's invention doesn't come at the cost of tradition, either. In fact, Super Mario Galaxy 2 preserves and pays homage to its franchise's rich history with passionate gusto. Super Mario is as relevant today as he was in 1986, and as crazy as it sounds, his future has perhaps never been brighter. At one point, I may have questioned whether Mario could get any better than this, but I've learned my lesson. Never question the plumber. <laughs>